We see the gritty reality of a new trend in drug use, a drug known as bath salts. There is a tape made by the U.S. Navy. And ABC's chief global affairs correspondent Martha Raddatz tells us why the Navy is sending out this video alert. The video puts you inside the mind of the drug user, from the moment you inhale the potent powder to what quickly follows. Your world descends into terror. Are you okay? Paranoia. Your girlfriend, then your friend, suddenly become demons. And you? Erratic, violent, out of control before finally being sedated by an emergency crew. One of the most concerning things about bath salts is these hallucinations, these paranoid delusions, they will last long after the intoxication's gone. Bath salts have nothing to do with the relaxing bath. Illegal, but easy to get. It is an underground code name for the synthetic drug that acts like a supercharged amphetamine, a trip that can have a deadly end. While the Navy doesn't have hard numbers of abuse in their ranks, they are fearful. In 2011, 16 midshipmen at the Naval Academy were expelled after abusing another synthetic drug. Same case at sea. In all, some 400 sailors were forced out. Bath salts are the latest temptation. Sometimes, like a college dorm uh, or a fraternity house, sailors uh, live together and they, they share uh, barracks rooms together and and when someone does something others can see it and emulate it and so our goal is to try to nip this in the bud it's not just the video the navy will now do random drug testing on sailors as an added precaution they are taking this drug very seriously diane what are the sailors saying about all this martha well, I, I think some of them think the, the ad is a little bit over the top, but they, they know this is a very, very serious problem. Here's a really interesting statistic. The military drug positive rate is four times lower than the general workforce, so the military, the Navy, is very committed to preventing drug abuse. All right, Martha Raddatz, thanks so much.